Okay, I think we're going to start now. Um, welcome to everybody. This is our 15 minute Pitnug webinar. Today's presenter is Eric Rome, who is from Online Stores Incorporated. He's He's been a Pitnug member, I think, as long as we've been a Pitnug organization. So a long time. And uh, so Eric, go ahead and start your presentation. And I'm just going to sit back and, and uh, go ahead and get started. Thanks. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, again, my name is Eric Rome I'm from Online Stores. I'm the ERP Systems Developer. Um, We've been live with NetSuite since 2018, but uh, we started going to Pitnug back in either early, late 2015 or early 2016. So we've been uh, been been around. Um, one of the uh, main task jobs that we uh, that I'm that I do is I create scripts and create new features for NetSuite. Well, for you know customizations. Um, and one thing, and we do all of our development in our sandbox account. So this way, if something goes wrong, we're not, our users don't get, you know, don't get freaked out by something weird that they're not ready for. Uh, and there are three ways of moving your new customizations from sandbox to live. You can either use bundle, which NetSuite is getting rid of. You can create a Sweet Cloud Development Framework Project or SDF, or you can do it manually, just simply by creating it in sandbox and going creating it in live. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go over creating Sweet Cloud development um, projects. Uh, before we get started, there are two searches that I wanted to share. Um, one is installing and setting up Sweet Cloud extension for Visual Studio Code. Uh, Visual Studio Code is the code editor that we're going to use today. Um, in the interest of saving time, I'm not going through the install process, but I wanted to show everyone where uh, they can find it. Uh, the other search that I wanted to share is creating an uh, SDF project in the Sweet Cloud extension for Visual Studio Code. Uh, I'm going to scratch just the surface of the capabilities of what we can do. So I wanted so everyone can actually see, you know, where to go so they can uh, explore it on their own. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started creating our first um, SDF project. So I've, uh, like I said, I've already got my environment set up. So what I'm going to do is um, inside Visual Studio Code, I'm going to open up the command platter and type in Sweet Cloud, um, Sweet Cloud, and then create a project using the um, the extension. So that's just how uh, Visual Studio Code works. And the first thing it's going to do is going to ask me where would you like to save your project. I like to store everything uh, very, very particularly. So I'm going to go ahead and store it in my Sweet Cloud projects. Um, there are two types of projects that, that you can create. There is the account customization project and the Sweet Cloud project. The account customization project are uh, what we're going to do today. Um, it is going to allow us to create things in our sandbox and essentially push them to live. Uh, the Sweet App project is for uh, sweet app partners where they can make their project available for everyone to download and install via the sweet uh, sweet app store um, so we're just going to go ahead and click on customization project it's going to ask you for a name I'm just going to name ours demo it's going to ask do you want to install the test framework I usually don't so I'm going to select no Okay. It's going then going to create it. And then it's going to ask me, do you want to switch? Do you want to open that folder? I'm going to say, go ahead and do it in this window. Okay. It's then going to open. The next thing it's going to ask you is that I tell you, you don't have a Sweet Cloud account set up for this project yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sweet. Um, account setup. So I have already set up my accounts. And again, in the interest of saving time, um, uh, there are two different ways of creating these accounts. Uh, you can create it with a web base or you can do it with a token base. Uh, the web base will open up a wizard and will ask you to essentially direct you 
to uh, your NetSuite login and um, uh, you'll essentially sign into NetSuite and it will then direct you to come back to Visual Studio Code. Um, you'll notice that I have created uh, both my production, which is this one, and then I've also created one for our sandbox. Uh, the token-based authentication would be as if you're using, um, if you went into NetSuite and created a token and um, wanted to go that route. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to our sandbox account. You'll get, um, anytime you do anything, you always get some sort of notification down here informing you, you know, what just happened in this case, I, it noticed that I switched accounts. Okay. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go create a record in our sandbox account. So this way we can actually push it to live. So I'm gonna go into customizations, record types, go new. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a name and click save. Okay, what we, um, you'll see that it created and we were gonna wanna take note of this ID. We're gonna need it later. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, add that to our project. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the command Go to Sweet Cloud and click on Import Objects. And uh, there are a ton of things that we can do uh, for this. We're going to go with um, Custom Record, which is right here. We're going to click OK. Uh, I don't remember the ID, so I'm just going to hit Enter. So it'll display me every custom record that is in our account. And um, you'll notice that here's the one that we're wanting to bring in. We're going to click it and click OK again. Uh, what this is going to then ask you to do, do you want to bring in all the references that go with it? We're going to say yes. And this is just informing you that the references have been updated and has to overwrite them. We're just going to click continue. Uh, down here, you'll see that it was doing, it was running and, and a message popped up. So now we can go ahead and we can go into our objects and you'll notice it created an XML file for it. Okay. Now the next step would be to push it to live. So I just want, we're just going to confirm that the record does not exist. Okay, no ER demo. So now, so first thing I need to do is switch accounts. Now to switch accounts, we have to go to the account setup. So we would just type in Sweet Cloud and go down to account setup. And we're just going to select our live account, which is this one. Notice we got the notification. And then now we're just going to deploy the accounts. So Sweet Cloud, deploy project. And it's gonna, it's giving you the, are you sure you would like to? You wanna say yes. Uh, down here, you'll see it's deploying. And the deploy was successful. Okay, so now if I refresh, You will now see there is now a record called Eric Demo. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to show you that this can do two records. So we're going to make, we're going to create a new record and edit this record all at the same time. So I'm going to go add a new field to the current one. And OK. 
Okay. Next, we're going to, now that we've created our records, we're going to need to um, down, um, import them into our project. So first thing we need to do is um, select the account. I actually, So we're going to switch back to our sandbox. Go to import objects. We are going to select custom record type. Let's select our new record. Yes, continue. Okay, you'll see that it, it created a new XML file and it finished. Um, but what we need to do is we need to update the current object that's there. So we have to open the file, open up the command palette and then select on update object from account. Now this only works for your currently selected file which is why we had to open it. So we're going to open it. It's going to inform you that it has to overwrite it. And you will now notice that the XML file has changed. It added, it added the field. Okay. So now we're ready to deploy this uh, to our live environment. So I will switch accounts. Okay. And we will click deploy project. Okay, it finished. So now if we refresh. You'll see that we have both our records and that demo, your demo now has the new field that we created. Okay. So the next thing I want to go over is um, sweet scripts. So sweet scripts is something that we also um, do a lot at online stores. We're always adding some sort of custom to, um, to all of our record types. So we're going to show how to um, uh, deal with um, sweet scripts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over to my sandbox account. Okay. And one. Okay. At online source, we have our scripts very well organized. Um, you'll notice that inside our sweet scripts folder, we have 1.0, 2.0 scripts, and then we have subfolders in that and going on through the hierarchy. So when we add our script to our project, we need to follow this very same way. So you'll notice that in your project, there is a folder for file cabinets and then sweet scripts. We're going to go ahead and add a folder here. And then inside that folder, we're going to add we're going to add demo. Okay. Now we've created our uh, our folder. Let's go ahead and um, open up the command palette, and we're going to click on create sweet script file. Uh, in the interest of saving time, we're just going to do a wrestlet. Uh, we're not going to add any um, any modules to it. We're just going to click OK. And then it's going to ask you, where would you like to store it? We're going to go ahead and put it in our new demo folder. And it's going to ask you for it. We're just going to call it demo. 
Okay, and it created the, the file. Okay. Um, there are two ways of the of sending this file to the to your NetSuite account. You can either deploy the whole project or you can update a single file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just gonna deploy the whole project. So you, you open up your command palette, deploy project. Okay, it has executed. I'm going to refresh. You'll notice that we now have demo. Okay. And then inside demo, we have our, um, we have our script. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go make a change to the script. Now I'm just gonna just throw something in very, very quickly. Okay, going to save. Now, instead of deploying the whole project, what we are going to do is we are going to just send the file. So we can just open up the command palette and, and go to Sweet Cloud. and click on upload file. Now this only works for files that are in your file cabinet. So you can't just update a record or anything like that to update records and forms and everything else other than sweet scripts, you have to deploy the whole project, but for scripts, you can just update the file. So we're gonna click, so we're gonna use the upload file. It's gonna, are you sure you wanna, con, are you sure you want to continue? Because it's gonna override it. We're gonna say yes. Okay, and then we will go to our sandbox account and we will go to that folder. And you'll notice that the time has changed. Okay, that is uh, everything that I uh, have to show everyone. Does anyone have any questions? No questions or make sure you're not on mute. <laughs> I know it was kind of a ton of information and done really, really fast. Uh, if anyone does have any questions or need any help, um, uh, feel free to reach out to Rhonda, which can uh, get me your email address or get my email address and I'll gladly walk through uh, anything that we had or if there's any, you know, you have any other, you know, problems or just need help with it in general, you can obviously reach out to me. Yeah, I, I, we really appreciate that, Eric, and I, I thank you for taking the time um, to to show us this. It, it is a lot, and it's not meant to be, you know, instructional for people to do it, but just kind of an overview of what can be done. Um, I will post this recorded webinar, so if anyone wants to, you know, review it or show it to someone else, I'll let you know. Hopefully. This week, I'll get it up to the Pit Nug webinar um, website. And I think that's it. Again, thanks, Eric. Thanks, everyone. Um, look for an email. We're going to schedule a Pit Nug meeting in May or maybe early June. So uh, we'll have that. But, uh, but thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. Not a problem. All right. See you guys. Have a good afternoon.